folks, how y'all doing? Um, hopefully all okay. I'm not smoking a pipe at the moment, but currently smoking a Trinidad Reyes. I've only just lit it up. Very, very nice cigars. And I'm recording this as a VR to Justin Taylor, who wants to see our sellers. Um, I've got quite a lot to get through, so I'll, I'll try and make it as quick as I can. Um, but this one, this is my, well, it's one of two boxes that I've got, the 50 litre capacity. Um, so, and as you can see, this one's pretty full. We'll go through the pouches first, because there's not that many of those. Um, so, first up, there's some, a tin of, well, what is a tin of Peterson Special Reserve celebrating 100 years, uh, which was bagged in 2016. Um, I won that from the Bumbling Piper and also Peterson Summertime 2016 as well. We have some Captain Black Original and Copper. A couple of pouches of Velvet, which I, I really enjoy that one. Um, pouch of half and half, another one I, you know, I enjoy. I, I mean obviously any, most of the stuff in here I enjoy because otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Um, some Murray's Warrior Plug. Now I've not actually smoked that one yet so I'm looking forward to getting to that at some point. Two pouches of Oh, HH Old Dark Fired. There's a second one. And two pouches of HH Ball Kentucky. That's it for the pouches. Um, I then have seven of these big tins, uh, which are my blending tobaccos. So we've got some uh, McConnell 100% Cuban, 250 grams I think is these tins, uh, some Black Cavendish, Louisiana Perique, some Turkish Coarse Cut, Some Red Virginia, Virginia Coarse Cut, and Cypress Latakia. So there, as I say, those are all of my blending tobaccos, um, which I'm not planning on opening for a while. I'm going to let those you know, mellow in the tin for a bit. Now, on to the tins. Uh, Rattray's Dark Fragrant. One tin of that. Some Rattray Highland Taj. Seattle Evening from the Seattle Pipe Club. One tin of Virginia Woods by McClelland. It's the only tin I've got left. Uh, some Star of the East, Cornell and Deal. Star of, it's the flake version, as you can see. <clears throat> and a tin of Mississippi River. 
which I really enjoy. Um, again, that's the only tin I've got left. Whew. Now onto these. The two latest additions to the cellar uh, that I got a couple of days ago. A tin of cabbage mixture from Sam Gowith and a tin of Best Brown Flake. Again, I haven't actually had the Best Brown Flake. I'm going to enjoy trying that one. Then have two tins of Balkan Flake. Two tins of BS Flake, brown sugar flake from the Danish Pipe Shop. A tin of Ennerdale Flake. You'll see I've, these tins are all sealed with a foil tape. Um, I had, have got some parafilm that I've tried to seal them with, but I kept having trouble with that. It kept tearing on me and I just haven't got the hang of stretching it out properly. So um, I switched to uh, the, te the metallic tape instead. One tin 1792 flake, which I've never never tried. I got it just to try, and it's just been sitting in the cellar uh, since October. <clears throat> One tin St James's flake. I need to get some more of that. Although again, I haven't actually tried it. I bought it on spec because I like vapors, and I was told it was a good one. Three tins of skiff mixture and one of perfection, which is a mild vanilla aromatic. Uh, very, very nice blend, actually. Let me just put the cigar down, I'll let it go out. Uh, we have one tin. McBaron Classic Flake, which was the old uh, vanilla cream flake. A tin of Solani 633, which is Virginia Perique. And one tin of Solani Aged Burley Flake. And we have three tins of HH Latakia Flake. <clears throat> a tin of Dunhill Navy Rolls. Two tins of My Mixture 965. One of BB 1938, Baby's Bottom 1938 and one nightcap. Hang on, I'm gonna have to get a cushion, my knees are killing me. I do apologize. I'm getting too old to be kneeling down for long. Uh, we then have some Erin Moore Flake. Robert Lewis 123 mixture. Robert McConnell Maduro, a tin of Presbyterian, a tin of Robert McConnell Oriental, a very very nice Oriental blend this, uh, although I think it actually on uh, tobaccoreviews.com I think it's listed as a Balkan, but very very nice. Some Robert McConnell Scottish cake. Three tins of HH Vintage Syrian. You're about to see just how ridiculous um, the labelling is on UK blends. 
two tins of Solani white and black which if you look they actually have to add an extra label to tell you what it is because the safety label you know health and safety labels are just absolutely crazy some Escudo Navy Deluxe some Erinmore Balkan Mixture three tins of Dunhill Dark Flake three tins of Dunhill Flake tin of Elizabethan mixture and a tin of Peterson 3 peas. Uh, I've not had the 3 peas yet that's just sitting there until I can get around to it. Two, three, six, six tins of my favourite Peterson blend which is Peterson Balkan Delight. Some Rattray's Old Gallery, Rattray Marlin Flake, three tins of Hall of the Wind, and a tin of Rattray Red Rappery. Now I've got all of these Rattray blends, but I've honestly not had any of them. I bought them uh, June last year and they've just gone straight into the cellar and I've not actually got around to smoking them. There's two more tins of Solani 633. Uh, these ones I actually managed to get the extra labelling off them. And a tin of Silum's Musketeer. So that is it for this main uh, box. I'm going to stop the video, put all this back, and then we'll get to the second box which is underneath. So I'll catch you again in a minute. Okay, on to box number two. This one won't take anywhere near as long um, because there's not as much in it at the moment. We have two tins of Orlick Golden Sliced, a tin of my own blend BS759, which is Danish Pipe, well, it's my own blend version of. Uh, Balkan Sobrani 759, which is the old Balkan Sobrani in the black and gold tin. Uh, and then a tin of my own blend Vintage Flake, which is a is supposed to be a, a copy of All the Golden Sliced, but a better copy, you know, kind of a slight improvement. It's a tin of HH Pure Virginia. A tin of chocolate silk from the Greater Kansas City Pipe Club, which was uh, McClelland uh, manufactured it. Very nice blend if you like an aromatic. Do you know, I think I really am getting old. I cannot kneel down for long at all. There's a tin of Balkan Sobrani. Tin of Esoterica Durbar, two tins Esoterica Tilbury, uh, which is one of my favourite Esoterica blends, a tin of Pirate Cake, a tin of Captain Earl's Ten Russians, very very nice blend. 
and a tin of uh, GLP's Quiet Nights. I have two tins of McClellan 40th Anniversary. There's the other. Two tins of Frogmorton and sorry, two tins of Frogmorton on the bayou and two tins of Frogmorton. They're the only Frogmortons I've ever managed to buy. Um, and I bought them, you know, a couple of months before McCle the mad rush on McClellan's. Um, and then my favourite McClellan blend, which I admit I do have quite a lot of. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen tins of McClellan Bombay Extra. Very, very nice blend. Um, I kind of feel bad about having as many tins as I do, but at the same time, you know, the blend was disappearing. Um, so I grabbed it. None of it's going to end up on eBay. Um, it's for my own consumption. I'm not going to be trying to profiteer off any of these McClellan blends. And then the last one is uh, a tin of British Woods, which I've never had, but I grabbed one tin of that while I still could. Um, that is my tobacco cellar. Um, I'll do a quick run through of the open blends in the cupboard uh, as soon as I put these away. So, again. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so these are my open blends. Um, which, you know, some of them are a daily rotation. Some of them I just, you know, dip into every now and then. Um, so we've got the Dun Dunhills on this end. So we've got some early morning pipe uh, not a lot of that left but uh, Dunhill nightcap there's some navy rolls and Elizabethan mixture at the back then have uh, some Bruno flake uh, which is an over the counter UK blend but very very tasty Ashton's Artisan Blend, very nice, um, some Germain's Royal Jersey Original uh, Latakia, and a McBaron Classic Flake, uh, very nice vanilla flake to be honest, um, that was actually one of the first Matt Barron blends that I really enjoyed. Uh, what else have we got? Some Dunhill Flake, HH Latakia Flake, which is incredibly tasty, uh, Robert McCorran Oriental, and then a, a custom blend that I bought from a, a fella on Facebook. Uh, which is a Latakia sandwich. Very, very nice. There's some Balkan Sobrani, um, which I'm sure you're all aware is a really good blend. Some Germain's Brown Flake, a favourite of quite a few of you. There's some Virginia Woods, not a lot of that left. Um, I used a lot of the tin uh, to mix up some London Fog, uh, so that's all I've got left. And then the one tin that's in my cellar.
and some Con Allendale's Father of the Flame. Uh, pretty much a full tin there. Uh, give or take a couple of bowlfuls. Over here we've got some pirate cake, some aged Stonehaven, only a couple of flakes left. Um, I got that in a swap with uh, Hoosie Piper. I sent him some aged Penzance. He sent me some aged uh, Stonehaven. I've got ten Russians and some Quiet Nights. Next here we have uh, some aged Burley Flake. Uh, Peter Stockerby Luxury Bullseye Flake, some Carter Hall, and Sangawith Navy Flake. I'm trying to go as quick as I can on this because I realise there's quite a bit in there. Uh, the large jars that you can see uh, on the other side of the cabinet, there's, well, I'll show you those. They're my own blends. Uh, as well as a couple of other blends as well, but, but I'll get to those in a minute. I'll do this bottom shelf or middle shelf. So on here, I have some wonderful Rich Dark Flake by Germain's. That's the UK Stonehaven, basically. Uh, a little all at Golden Sliced which, again, the majority of what I had in here I used in uh, London Fog. So Sangaweth Full Virginia Flake. Uh, there's two tins worth in there, and I'm just going to leave that in the jar for a while before I actually touch it. It's the remainder of my batch of London Fog. Uh, very very nice if, you, if you've got some Virginia woods and you've got some uh, golden sliced mix yourself some up um, roughly 60% Virginia woods 40% um, golden sliced um, I think Simon uses pretty much that ver uh, ratio as well um, Peterson Balkan Delight Jermaine's King Charles mixture, uh, which I think is underrated. I don't hear a lot of people mention it, but it's quite a nice blend, is that? Um, if you can get hold of some, give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed, but if you are disappointed in it, let me know. Um, I'll take it off your hands, maybe we can trade for it. Uh, we have... I have Jermaine's Special Latakia Flake, which is almost completely rubbed out, which is a bit of a shame, um, but because of how fragile the flakes are, it, you know, <laughs> it's difficult to keep it together. Um, but having it rubbed out, at least I get an even mix of all the uh, tobacco ingredients. One of my favourite vapours, uh, Solani 633. The last of a jar, of, a tin of Mississippi River. As I say, I've got one jar, one tin in the cellar, but I've not opened it yet. Some Esoterica Tilbury. Um, so I'm all set for Tilbury for a while, I've got that full jar there, and two tins. McClellan's Bombay Extra. McClellan Christmas Cheer 2016. 
really enjoy that actually. I don't smoke it often because obviously it's not replaceable. So I do apologise about the chair squeaking. Um, so I'll just put these away and then uh, I'll move over to the other side and give you, a you know, the larger jars. Okay, so what have we got here? Um, most of these uh, blends that I've mixed up myself, except for these two, uh, a jar of Penzance. Um, it was an eight ounce bag that I managed to grab. Uh, so again, I don't smoke it very often, but it's there for when I want it. And the best part of 500 grams of uh, the Jermaine's Rich Dark Flake. Um, I bought a factory sealed bag at a very reasonable price actually. Um, and what I couldn't fit in that large jar is in the smaller daily use jar. And then there's my own blends or blends that I've mixed up following somebody else's recipe. There's the Sardorian mix-up which was based on Mr. Sardorian's blend that used to be available from Timaeus Tobacconist. There's my Oriental Dreams. I'm going to need to make some more of that up soon. Misty Mountain, which I definitely need to make more of that up. And Powdered Toast Man, which I'm sure a lot of people are aware of. Um, I've got a full jar of that. I'm not, I'm not a very big aromatic smoker, so um, that's going to last quite a while, will that? And then there's just 14, uh, four jars left. There's a coffee chocolate caramel blend from Terry the Artist and some of his English blend. I've got some Tim's West Yorkshire which was made by uh, Corncob Piper. And the last one is just an experimental basically when I made up some blends a while back I had a load of tobaccos left so just put them all together and they've been see, uh, just sat in that jar waiting for me to get around to trying it. So that is the entirety of my cellar. Um, you know, I'm sorry it's taken quite a while to do the video, as in length of time for you to watch. Uh, hopefully the sound quality is okay. I'm filming it on my phone, so I need to transfer it to the computer and then upload it once I've edited it together. But uh, for now, you folks take care, and I will catch you in my next video. ta -da. Well, if you've managed to sit through all of that, I want to thank you. Um, I do apologise that the quality of the video wasn't that good. Um, and the sound might be a little bit dodgy in places um, but for those who don't uh, haven't checked out Justin's channel uh, there's a description in the bucket below you know in, in the uh, video description uh, hang on there's a description in the bucket below <laughs> I'm tired it's the end of a long day I'm going to leave that mistake in. Right, there's a link in the bucket below. Um, please do go along, check his channel out, you will not be disappointed, he's a great guy. Um, really entertaining videos and yeah. Uh, thanks again for sticking with this video for so long. Catch you in the next one.